Hello students, welcome to Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I'm, I will be discussing last 10 days strategies for uh, strategy for Comet K 2024 exam. Okay. Uh, so in this video, I will be discussing what are the high chap uh, weightage chapters, what are the low weightage chapters. Okay. And I will give you the plan for daily, uh, daily plans. Okay. And what are the chapters you have to read on daily basis. Okay. Yeah. So let us start. So the first one. So daily planning for Comet K 2024. Okay. So I have divided 10 days into two parts. Okay. First five days and next five days. Uh, in first five days, you will be focusing uh, or you will be completing high weightage chapters. Okay. You will be completing high weightage chapters. You will be completing high weightage chapters. Okay. And some more uh, moderate weightage chapters. Okay. Some moderate weightage chapters and some low weightage chapters okay so after that you have to do revision and you have to take two mock tests and then day 6 to 10 so in this uh, in these days you will be uh, completing moderate weightage chapter all the moderate weightage chapter okay uh, the remaining moderate weightage chapter and then remaining low weightage chapter okay remaining low weightage chapter and i have put one high weightage chapter in 6 to 10 days okay that is the uh, easier chapter semiconductor and electronics yeah let's see so here this is the analysis of the last five year paper okay so first 12 uh, 12th syllabus that is second PO syllabus i'll be discussing and i will be analyzing the 12th uh, chapters okay what are the chapters they have asked okay from what uh, what chapters they have asked the questions in comet k okay so the first one electric charges and fields uh, electric charges and fields so this is the high weightage chapter okay high weightage chapter so every year they ask minimum three to two questions okay three to two questions from this chapter and then electrostatic potential uh, electrostatic potential is also a high weightage chapter okay so okay if you take the average here two 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 three two right so they ask two question but actually in uh, 2018-19, they asked four questions also, okay, from this chapter. So that's why I have put electrostatic and potential, uh, electrostatic potential and capacitance in high weightage chapter, okay. So this is high weightage chapter. Understood? Yeah. So then uh, the current electricity, current electricity is also a high weightage chapter, okay. Every year they ask three questions, three to four questions from current electricity. If you take last five year, uh, last five year, question paper they asked three question okay but if you go 2018 to 2017 papers they asked four questions okay so current electricity is very important chapter for comet k 2024 and then uh, moving charges and magnetism this is also a very important chapter okay so high weightage chapter and then magnetism and matter okay so this is a low uh, moderate weightage chapter okay moderate weightage chapter moderate weightage chapter okay magnetism and matter and then emi emi is also moderate moderate weightage chapter 3 2 2 2 3 right moderate weightage chapter okay and then ac uh, ac is a high weightage chapter every year they ask minimum four to three uh, three to four questions from this chapter right so high weightage chapter okay and then em waves em waves is a low weightage chapter right em waves is a low weightage chapter and then uh, ray optics and optical instrument so this is a moderate weightage chapter every year they ask uh, minimum two to one question right sorry uh, three to two question but last five years they asked only two questions right uh, uh, every year i mean last five years they asked only two questions so it is a moderate weightage chapter next one question uh, wave optics wave optics is a high weightage chapter high weightage chapter okay so they ask minimum three to two questions from this chapter okay and then dual nature of matter and radiation dual nature of matter and radiation is a moderate weightage chapter okay moderate weightage chapter so i have put moderate weightage uh, in moderate weightage chapter column okay why because last year they asked three question right before that one question and two question okay so if you take only at the last year paper they asked three question right 
so it is very uncertain right you don't know whether they will ask three questions or two question or one question okay mostly they will ask one question but we don't know right so that's why i put in uh, moderate weightage chapter okay they may ask two question or three questions also right yeah so then atoms last year they asked three question but before that i mean before that every year they asked only one question right so definitely in this year they will ask either they will ask uh, one question or two question right one question or two question if you take the average right so it is uh, uh, atoms is a low weightage chapter okay and then nuclei also right so nuclei is also low weightage chapter and then semiconductor and electronics right semiconductor and electronics is high weightage chapter last 3 years if you uh, if you take only last 3 years they ask three question right so it is a uh, high weightage chapter okay okay second pu syllabus is over let's see the first pu syllabus units and measurement units and measurement uh, so it is a low weightage chapter right isn't it so units and measurement so it is a low weightage chapter kinematics 1d and 2d kinematics 1d and 2d is high weightage chapter here i have combined 1d and 2d actually in uh, ncert so they have divided this kinem uh, kinematics chapter into two parts right so one kinematics 1d motion that is motion in a straight line and motion in a plane that is kinematics 1d and 2d i have combined here so it will be uh then this will be a high weightage chapter right okay uh so then the loss of motion right so the loss of motion is a moderate weightage chapter not low weightage chapter okay moderate weightage chapter and then work energy power work energy power is a low weightage chapter okay work energy power is the low weightage chapter and then system of particles and rotation uh, so this is uh this is the moderate weightage chapter okay so they uh, they asked uh, every year they asked uh minimum two questions right but in 2022 they asked four questions isn't it and 21 they asked two uh, three question and then 2019 and 23 they asked two two question right two and one question isn't it so yeah we can put this in moderate weight uh, weightage chapter right and then the gravitation the gravitation is also a moderate weightage chapter okay last year they asked one question okay so before that they asked two three to two question right isn't it so but if you look at 18 17 and all so they asked only one question one or two question okay so i'm taking last five years average so that's why so it's a moderate weightage chapter and then mechanical properties of this fluid mechanical properties of the solids uh, and fluids and thermal properties of the matter right so all these chapters comes under low weightage chapter okay low weightage chapter low weightage chapter and low weightage chapter and then thermodynamics uh, thermodynamics comes under uh, low weightage chapter right it is low weightage chapter because in all years they asked only two to one question okay so it is low weightage chapter so next ktg ktg is low weightage chapter oscillations and waves okay if you combined if you combine these two then it is a high weightage chapter right so otherwise oscillation and waves is a low weightage chapter right yeah okay so these are the chapters of high priority medium priority and lower priority right so these chapters are high weightage chapters right high priority you have to give uh, or you have to focus more on these chapters okay and you have to focus less on medium priority not completely less okay so these are the medium uh, or moderate level chapters okay here low pr uh, priority chapters okay yeah anyway i have uh, already said okay i told you right so what are the high priority chapters low priority chapters and uh, sorry medium priority chapter and low pr priority chapters right okay so now daily plans day wise study plan okay comet kit 2024 so first first 3 days that is day 1 2 3 so these are the chapters you have to complete okay so units and measurement right so this is the low weightage chapter right low weightage chapter and then kinematics 1d and 2d high weightage chapter right and then ray optics and optical instrument ray optics and optical instrument is a uh, here 
लो वेटेज चैप्टर राइट सॉरी मीडियम वेटेज चैप्टर राइट एंड ड्यूल नेचर ऑफ मैटर एंड रेडिएशन इज अ मॉडरेट वेटेज चैप्टर रियो ऑप्टिक्स एंड ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज मॉडरेट वेटेज चैप्टर एंड दिस वन इज ऑल्सो मॉडरेट वेटेज चैप्टर राइट एंड देन ई एम आई मॉडरेट वेटेज चैप्टर राइट एंड देन थर्मल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मैटर लो वेटेज चैप्टर राइट एंड देन सॉलिड्स दिस वन इज ऑल्सो लो वेटेज चैप्टर देन हाई बेल्ट हाई वेटेज हाई वेटेज हाई वेटेज हाई वेटेज राइट लो वेटेज एंड हाई वेटेज इज एन इट ओके सो हियर इन डे वन ओके सो इन डे वन डे वन टू थ्री राइट सो दीज आर दी चैप्टर्स यू आर कंप्लीटिंग राइट सो ट्राई टू फिनिश ट्राई टू फिनिश ऑल दी मॉडरेट एंड लो वेटेज चैप्टर्स ओके ऑल दी मॉडरेट एंड लो वेटेज चैप्टर्स इन वन एंड हाफ डेज ओके इन वन एंड हाफ डेज दैट इज यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट एंड देन रे ऑप्टिक्स एंड ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट डुएल नेचर ऑफ मैटर ई एम आई रे ऑप्टिक्स एंड ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज अ मॉडरेट वेटेज चैप्टर राइट ओके सो नाउ ट्राई टू फिनिश दीज चैप्टर्स ओके इन डे वन डे वन डे वन ओके डे वन अंडरस्टूड डे वन एंड देन हियर Try to finish EMI ई एम आई थर्मल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मैटर एंड देन सॉलिड्स डे टू राइट एंड देन डे थ्री ओके सो देन रिवाइज ओके सो इन टू एंड हाफ डेज यू हैव टू फिनिश ऑल दीज चैप्टर्स एंड देन रिवाइज ओके सो रिविजन इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड देन फोर फाइव डेज फोर एंड फाइव डेज राइट इन टू डेज हियर यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दीज चैप्टर्स एंड देन रिविजन right revision of these chapter plus revision of whole these chapters right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 right uh, 8 9 10, 11 12 13 okay you have to complete 13 revision of the 13 chapters right in 4 and 5 days you have to complete uh, 6 chapters plus revision of the 6 chapter plus revision of the whole 13 chapters right so if you revise more so you will do better in exam okay so in day 4 f- uh, right in day 4 try to finish these three chapters okay in day 4 try to finish these three chapter in day 5 in day 5 in half of the day try to finish these three chapters okay okay in day 5 try to finish moving charges and magnetism ktg and ac then revise all these chapters okay revise all these chapters you will get more time right because you are only revising six chapters isn't it so you will get more time then revise all these chapters six chapters plus revise a uh, first three days chapters then take mock test okay revise revise one to three days chapters plus revise Four to five days chapters. Four to five days. What are the chapters you have read? Plus mock test. Right? Plus mock test. Okay. So then day six eight. Right? Six to eight. Here you have to complete mechanical properties of these fluids and then thermodynamics, oscillation and waves, semiconductor, electronics, wave optics, system of particles and uh, rotational motion. Right? And gravitation. Only. Here semiconductor and electronics. This is the high weightage chapter. Then all of them are moderate and low weightage chapter. Here I have combined uh, combined oscillation and waves. Okay, actually these two are different chapters, right? But uh, if you know oscillation, you can do waves, right? So I mean these two are combined, right? The concepts are almost same, right? Concepts are same, right? So now here uh, you have to sorry, not concepts are same here. the waves whatever the concepts in waves it is uh, it is it is basis on oscillation right isn't it okay so try to finish try to finish uh, mechanical properties of the fluid in 6 days okay 6th day and then thermodynamics okay thermodynamics and then ओके वेव ऑप्टिक्स इज अ हाई वेटेज चैप्टर राइट आई हैव पुट टू हाई वेटेज हाई वेटेज चैप्टर ओके इन 6 टू ओके 6 एंड 8 डेज ओनली टू चैप्टर्स ओके नॉट वन चैप्टर टू चैप्टर वेव ऑप्टिक्स इज अ हाई वेटेज राइट 
okay six six days right and then here sixth day okay and then seventh day okay and then seventh day you have to finish these two chapter and then eight days Uh, six day try to finish mechanical properties of this uh, fluid thermodynamics gravitation these three chapters okay easy chapters and then revise and in seventh day try to finish oscillation and waves semiconductor and electronics uh, semiconductor sorry oscillation and waves system of particles and rotation motion these uh, these two chapters okay in the eighth day semiconductor and electronics wave optics only two chapters you have to read okay after that again revision okay revision and then ninth and 10th day all of them are easy chapters okay all of them are easy chapters and low weightage and moderate cha uh, weightage chapters loss of motion it's a moderate weightage chapter magnetism and matter low weightage chapter em waves it is a moderate weightage right magnetism and matter is a, a moderate weightage em waves atoms nuclei and mechanical properties of this fluid all these are low weightage chapter so in ninth day in ninth day you have to finish uh here these four chapter ninth day and then ninth day ninth day and ninth day okay you have to finish all these chapters in tenth day you have to finish these two chapters okay then you will get lot of time then revise revise chapters you have uh, revised in six to eight days right again revise chapters uh, you have revised in six to eight days plus revise nine to ten days okay plus two mock test right plus two mock test okay so now take mock test as much as possible okay so now last 10 days revision tips for comet k 2024 okay so these are the tips uh, i'm giving you to follow okay so if you have any other plans you can follow that also yeah you can follow those plans also okay so the first one focus on high weightage chapter okay try to focus more on high weightage chapters uh like i i have given the chapter leads right high weightage chapter leads right so focus more on these topics okay and then the review from short notes make short notes okay so make definition and then make formula sheets and all okay so make short notes and every time i mean whenever you get the time please revise it okay or please review it and then the third one avoid learning new topics okay don't read any new topic okay so revise whatever the topics topics you know that's it okay uh question uh, then fourth one focus on mistakes and weak areas that is try to avoid silly mistakes okay try to avoid silly mistakes and then try to uh ever okay try to focus more on weak areas okay well what kind of silly mistakes suppose uh you have to put the formula of the uh sphere solid sphere okay area of the solid sphere so what is the area of the solid sphere 4 pi r square right isn't it but in exam it, in exam so even i have done this okay in my time so i have put okay so i wrote pi r square the formula of the area of the solid sphere as pi r square okay these kind of silly mistakes we do okay so try to avoid all these silly mistakes okay try to avoid all these silly mistakes and uh, focus on weak areas that is if you are weak in numericals try to solve new num more numerical problems okay yeah next and the last one important one solve previous year question papers last try to solve last five previous year question papers okay last uh, five previous year question paper and then mock tests okay take mock tests as much as possible okay anyway we are providing two mock tests right so take that mock tests and then if you get any extra mock tests take that also okay take mock tests as much as possible and solve previous year question paper so they will ask similar kind of question paper okay yeah okay thank you thank you so much for watching this video if you love this video please like and share if you want to watch more such videos please subscribe thank you